Sunday morning. Look, you see the beet's grown. Hasn't grown all summer, but it's been a dry year. What are they looking like, boy? Not brilliant, are they? They have grown though over the last two or three weeks, haven't they, a month? I hope the strip graze this with cattle in the winter time. Just a few heifers, maybe. This cow's got a tag missing. By law, we have to have a tag in there, so the boy's just gonna put a replacement tag in. It won't hurt, you can try and go through the same hole if you're standing still. Um. Look at your pretty earring, hey? There you go, number 36. Hmm? Yeah, drop your cow. There you go, all done, back to the pan. We've got three or four of these to do this morning. Here comes the mussels from Brussels. Wurzel! It's going back up here so we can protect the feed. We're going to try and do something with the end as well. There's a proper sheet for the end of the barn, sort of wind protection, let the wind through, but then let the rain in. So I just took it off the other side of the barn and fitting it on this side. Probably take about 20, 30 minutes to fully get it up there. But anyway, this is how we start. Tied the top left hand side with a bit of string so I can get the other side up. How well this is going to go. Concentrating? Me? Yeah. No. No, please do. Why? Thought it was a bit long to watch, so I found a time lapse, so I speeded it all up. So I think this part of the video it took us about 10-12 no, minutes. So just speed it up. So I'm like morph off of the um, Tony Hart's little plastic men, Play-Doh men. Just use the end of a pen or a pencil just to make a little hole in the net to get the clip on the ratchets in. Nice and simple.
perfect job. Got the bottom still to secure. But we are getting there. And Monday's job. Just stop the worst of the weather getting in. It's pretty protected. But soon all the leaves will be off. Look at all them. Collar doves going over. Look at them. One and a free feed. There it is, one gable end. Looks better. Getting drier. Just a little bit at the top to do. And I don't like heights. Yeah. Call him. Peter. Peter. Yeah. Now he's happy eating now. Hey oh boy, hey Peter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he'll give you a lick. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Peter. Peter's nice. Where is um pickles? Pickles is I don't know, go and see him. Maybe around the other there. side or laying down. No. Right no, that's buttercup three. Buttercup? That's his name. Well, no, the, the black and white one is Buttercup. White and... Yeah, she's a, just Buttercup three in the middle there with a the white bit oh. in the head. Middle walking away. And that big balls Billy, or little balls Billy. <laughs> he's a rigid. Hello. That's a Hereford, he's quite friendly. Well, hello. We'll be having him for dinner soon. Do you want some of him for dinner? Bagging you! You gonna eat him for dinner? No. No, you're not going to eat him for dinner? No. Oh, good girl. He just burped. He burped. We can't eat a burper, can we? Yeah. Right, say goodnight. Good night, cows. Good night, cows. Um, Tuesday. Get a morning treat. Just come down and just cast her eye over him. Are you barking at Wurzel? Tuesday job after doing the animals and feeding up this morning. All this has been knocked off the back of a young calf shed. So we're going to cut these nails out because we're all bent over. Same on the bottom, repair that bottom bit of wood. Got these big boys to screw in. They're going to take some getting in. Let's go and find some tools and get started. Right, do you know where you're putting the nail? Have you worked out? Yeah. Well, show me at the bottom then where you're putting it. Put your hand through. Yeah, but you've got to make sure you've got the right piece of the tin. So you've got to be on this piece of tin here, right on this edge, pointing it towards the calves. All right. You will need a hammer, did you not say that? Right. On your feet. Yeah. You got one of them big washers on it as well, yeah? No, it's not washer. There should be some washers on the bolts. Yeah, look, I'll get you one. Don't put it in without a washer. There you go.
Bring it in. Boy. Just had lunch. We got a call that one of our bullocks on the wash isn't very well from Carwin. So we just put the trailer on and we're off up the wash, which is handy because we've got delivery at Wellney Wetland Centre. So I'll take that at the same time. So it's a gallon, mate. Wilney Wetland Centre. Yeah, got some Cumberland sausages straight from the farm. Freshly made this morning. We have a thinking of visiting, well worth a visit. Plenty going on. The swans are coming in lovely, so I've been told. Girls, girls, go on, off you go. Up, 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 up. In. Go on in, back. You back. Go and push your steer back, boy. Don't let, don't let her off edge. Got to close that gate. We got to shut the trailer up. A few more. <laughs> Few more every day. <coughs> Take Wurzel for a bit of a run in the morning. Quiet. It's full of bloody energy. We don't run him too far because of his joints. But if we don't do this at all, he's a nightmare for the first hour. Aren't you, boy? Hmm? Starting to feel a bit more like autumn today. A bit chillier. Maybe time for no more shorts, but <laughs> we'll see if we get through to next summer. Anyway, it's Wednesday. We've already done a bit of paperwork. And we're off to go and feed up. So talk to you later. Just a quick look at how we wrap our meat. All environmentally friendly. Peach paper, which is biodegradable. Or you can roll it up and light your fire with it. And go on your compost heap. But it will fully rot down and leave you no trace elements. Along with our trays. Look at that. You hear the sound of the paper crunching away. And then we hand write everything we need to on it or the dates and put a stamp on them. Look at them chicken breasts. We had the loin out of a bullock and we're looking to take off the T bone. You're working on the ramp here, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So where did you go? What can you feel there? You see, feel the bone. So you're looking for the, the hip bone, bone there, is it? Yeah, it's on the bone stocks. Yeah, so you can feel that. I shouldn't be touching it. So was there just a little bit of backbone in there? Yeah. Is that a T-bone there as well? No, that's the rump. That's, that's the rump. rump. And what's that bottom piece of meat there? A bit of fillet. A bit of fillet. That's the T-bone. <clears throat> right. Does that waste of the fillet cutting it like that? No. 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 So you can see the fillet going through the middle of the beef here. And then the sirloin underneath. And what's this bit on the outside? A bit of hanger skirt. A bit of hanger skirt. Is that what we call bivet as well, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. 
think what bullock this was, what was this? Can you remember? Was it a Hereford or was this a short horn? Yeah, the short horn. Went through so much beef, you're gonna remember which one's which. I think this was a short horn, yes, it was a red short horn steer, I do remember it. And next week you next week or next bullock you're about to go into will be a Hereford. We've got a couple of Herefords and an Angus. Oh, oh, look at that. Just push that onto the block because I have a proper look. Are oh, you feeling hungry? Look at that. Wow, how many more will you get out of that? About another two or three, roughly. Go on, cut a couple more. <laughs> wow. Most places to trim this uh, surplus piece off, won't they? But that still cooks up lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Makes me feel hungry. Best bits of meat here at Brambleby Farm. So it's been a bit of a bitty day today. I'm just sort of repairing, putting the rail on the crew yard here, rather than old broken gates like we usually do. Ideal area, just hold a couple of heifers or put some cattle in while we're handling. It's one of the jobs we've been on, also getting more room made for the hens to go indoors. A few other bits and pieces. And tidying up, you can hear the kids in the background, or the boy, I was calling kids. That's more like what he is. Danger. <laughs> Putting some bits and pieces away for wintering, keeping them out of the weather. But anyway, my job is driving these in. Again, on some of these big boy ones. Cow size bolts, as we call them. Well, yesterday we was working on this, as you can see, nice and secure, back one of our trailers in. In here we've got some feed that we've just milled, which we'll feed to our heifers and our cows. We're a bit short on hay and that this year, so all the heifers and that we're keeping, and all the cows. So this is our milled barley, what we grew ourselves. This will help get us through this winter time. So I'll back this right in under this shed and just keep the worst of the weather off of it. Lovely stuff. Well today, can't really vlog much today, look at that weather. As good as anything coming down. Just what you want. So today I've got the delivery round, so raining like a good one as you just see it, so I think I picked the perfect job. So but, um, look what I've got for dinner. Big apple pie, I'm trying to eat all that, but no wonder why I'm fat. Should have bought a sandwich or a healthy salad. Anyway, there won't be a lot to report today. Just be delivering rounds to about seven o'clock tonight. Maybe eight o'clock, hopefully it'll be done. I don't know if I'm doing it or whether my daughter will be on this afternoon's run. But time will tell. Anyway, stay safe, smile and be happy. Bye bye. So it's quite late and we're down with the heifer to come back off a of wash. She's deteriorated this afternoon. We've waited nearly all day for the vets to phone back. Eventually phoned back and given us some medications. But can we just see if we can get her up, please? Just to get her moving a little bit. So she's had three injections. Tonight, painkillers, steroids, and antibiotics. 
I'm just gonna see if we can get her up and move her a little bit. Come on. Come up. Up, girl. I've just got up. I think she found the only dry spot left after all this rain today. Oh, off she goes. You can have a wander. Anyway, fingers crossed. We'll let you know in the morning. Good night. Just out walking, looking for a belt of Galloway cow, but while I'm looking for her, look at the clovers. This field never had no clovers. When we seeded it, it was full of clovers and not a single one grew. So just by adding our own manure, <coughs> I just popped off a tractor. What you put that there for, Wurzel? Say good morning, Wurzel. Wurzel, morning. There she is. She's not looking the best. Head sort of down, ears down. Usually a bit of a sign. <coughs> so she had three lots of injections last night. <coughs> so see what her breathing's like. <coughs> Sit. Sit. Stay. 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 Still a bit excitable. Stay. Breathing still laboured, but she's moving around. Stay, Wurzel! Wurzel! That'll do. Sit. I'm not going to put her under any pressure, she can wander back as she wants. Smile, it's Friday. You're on camera. Thank you for the spot. Smile! It's a bit wet, but hopefully we can get some drilling done. It's afternoon, some winter wheat in going on the pig land that hasn't been cereals probably wheat since before 1976 before pigs it was orchard we had a crop of barley and it's done nothing else small bird here we are putting some winter wheat in and we're a bit late i don't know if you were aware but we had some equipment stolen so quite annoying because we just rebuilt our power hammer so we bought a new power hammer and bought this drill to go on the back of it so I've been drilled like this for a very long time about 8340 my boy driving hello Bert you won't get much out of him look how miserable he looks a bit of rubbish in this field you know we just picked up a bit of electric fence wire so this field has had planted with trees in 1976 and we grew a, a crop of barley on it nine ten years ago and it's had pigs all the rest of the time so pigs over there i don't know if i can scroll in yeah just walking through the trees there hello wurzel good wurzel all right boy you all right yes all happy yes <laughs> So we're putting it down the wheat just for one year, winter wheat, and then it'll move on. We'll probably put it back to grass again. So I just want a bit of grass there just on the side. Look how bright that looks in this weather. It's got a few sheep on it somewhere. There's a few lambs right over there. A few nettles, but not too bad. We haven't sprayed or done anything with it. Say good morning, piggies. Say hello, everybody. Here at Marshland, set up. What a miserable day. Look at that rain. It's going to ease off by lunchtime, and we will have the barbecue going. 
we've got some big lumps of meat, steak, sausages, burgers, chicken, chicken breast, pork chops, topside joints, everything. Come along and say hi at the Secret Garden on Marston Farmers Market. This is our second market of the day, same day, Lewis is at this one. Also a good setup, ready meals, sausages, burgers, bacon, steaks, wrapped tenderloins, you name it, minted lamb chops at the back there, pork chops, everything. But it's only Great Britain that's outside, pouring down with rain, and here I am, cooking a barbecue. What a way to end a week. Only in Great Britain, eh? Farm fresh burgers, sausages, the lot. Don't forget to like, subscribe and follow us. Good luck, goodbye.